Hello all my crafty friends, it's Amanda from Crafty Fit and today I have um, somewhat of a different video. I'm going to show you guys what I have been doing in my craft space um, and um, what my plans are. So I'm not really in the scrappy mood right now and I think that has a lot to deal with just making a whole bunch of layouts for one month and so um, I have been just reorganizing, I've been shopping, and that's what I love about this hobby is that um, we can we can have fun with our stuff. And um, sometimes we forget about the old stuff too and uh, buy all the new stuff and we don't really look at what we can make with the new and the old. So I decided that I was going to make, so a lot of collections that are coming out now or like at this time that I'm recording this video, uh, is a lot of the new American crafts collections. And I did get the Vicky Booten collection, like a couple pieces. I did get Heidi Swap, which, uh, I've only have one of her paper pads. Um, and that's really it. Uh, and I got a little bit of other papers, I believe from the other collections. I'm not sure. Um, I'm still waiting for the orders as of today. So I've been going through my space and I actually decided I was going to make um, a mega kit of all the collections that these people have put together um, that the creator um, has had. So that I have, that I have my hands on. So I went ahead and I made them and this isn't even the largest one. This is the second to largest one. Um, I have a lot of Maggie Holmes and that's crazy to me because I feel like I don't, <laughs> I don't have a whole lot. Um, but as I was going through my stuff, I basically was pulling things out that would remind me um, or have like the same kind of mood and feel. So some of these items might be all from the, um, uh, creator. Some of them might be another, like, another, like, you know, just from like Hobby Lobby, but it gives me the vibe of these collections. And so I went ahead and I started to pull, a lot of stuff from Paige Evans and see what all I have and I have a lot <laughs> and my plan is to not necessarily work on these kits um, one at a time uh, I don't really know what I'm gonna do yet because I feel like I'm gonna get a little tired um, maybe I might make this like a monthly kit and just try to see like what I can get out of it um, and see if I can play with that. I don't think I'm gonna be making any videos with this because I really want to focus on um, kind of fussy cutting, if that makes a se any sense, like in just not feeling rushed to put up a video or to make a process video. So you might see some of these videos or these layouts that I'm going to make with this kit. You might not. Um, what I really wanted to do is just show you guys the fun part, which is kind of all the things that I have and kind of go over in detail what I plan on doing. And maybe if you would like to do the same thing, you can. It's, it's an awesome kind of way to intermix the collections that they have made because half the time they are semi the same color palette, same mood and feel. And even if they're not, you can still have fun. So, um, I went ahead and I pulled everything from Paige Evans that I have. Um, so you guys will see here, I have these bags from Cut Aparts. And so I went ahead and I just, um, put them in bags. This one actually probably needs a bigger bag. This is like from Bungalow Lane. So this is all the papers that I cut up and used as, or are using as ephemera. I have some ideas for layouts that I want to do with them. Um, so I'm super excited about that. Uh, and then I have like some cut aparts from Ver uh, Horizon. So I'm super excited about that. Uh, I do have more cut aparts in the paper pads. 
I'm just showing you guys what I have right now because this is basically what I have. This is from Wonders. So you guys can see like it kind of is the same kind of color palette a little bit. So, like these two could go really well together. Um, but yeah, so I have uh, a couple things from the Wonder Collection or the Horizon. I have some bits and pieces and ephemera and some of the um, paper clips. So I have those I have from um, Wonders. I have the sticker sheet and I have some of these. Like I could definitely use these on different pages. I have the paper clips. I have the ephemera. I have from Bungalow. I still have a lot of these, which were really fun to work with. I have a lot of the ephemera. I, not a lot of these. I could probably use these on a layout and get them used up. Um, and then I also have some of the uh, leaf embellishments too. So then, like I said, I did pull a couple things. Um, like this is giving me very, uh, very Paige Evans. I'm trying to think about who, who I'm, who I'm looking at right now. Uh, Paige Evans kind of vibe. So I did pull that, those stickers. I did pull Whimsical. I feel like that could go with a lot of her stuff too. And then I believe this one right here is actually a collection I have, which is the Pick Me Up. So I pulled that. And then I have the Wonder stickers and I have the Horizon stickers too that I got. So I pulled some things, not all of them are from the collections, but I did put in a little envelope and I have some photos that I wanted to. So I did make some kits with these when I got like the Wonders collection, I made some kits, but I am deciding to, I decided to take them apart and then make a mega kit like this. So let me go ahead and get a drink of water, sorry. So, I went ahead and I took all the photos out. I still want to scrap them and I still want to use these kits um, or these collections, but uh, I figured I would go ahead and just keep them all together and just add more photos if I wanted to do more um, as I go along. So I have that and I have the scraps in there. I pulled all the scraps that were from each collection and just threw them in here. So that way they're all in one. And then I have the loose papers. So I have a lot of papers from Go the Scenic Route. I do not have a lot of the ephemera. I don't have any ephemera for this collection, I think. So I am planning on going through and just cutting like cutting up these flowers because sometimes I'm just in the mood to really just fussy cut and so why not um I have these flowers I might cut up and put on some and you also have like the back that's really pretty um and then I have where is it like this one is super fun like I could definitely see myself cutting these up and like making like, I've seen it a lot where people like make like triangles or something. Just, I just want to have fun and just, it's something different. So I have them all in this like little bin. And so I have all of her scenic root. Um, and then I have all of the bloom street so it would be fun to like cut these up i have an idea to cut these up and make um there's this one right here which is super cute and then i also have like the cut aparts um what else i have another one of these which 
Um, I've seen a lot of people do like different things with these and I think it would just be so fun to just use this and use the collection and make a layout with it. So I have that collection. I also have Horizon. Now Horizon is almost like it's almost used up. Um, I still have a lot to use, but this is also going to give me an idea of, um, kind of like this one right here. I don't really know if I would use it. I'm just not a fan. So, you know, it just kind of is like this one I could see, I could cut these up and then this one I could see, I have an idea for this, but it's just kind of, there's another one of those. I cut those up. It's just another way of like looking at your stuff. Um, hold on, let me take another drink of water. I did take the Bloom Street and I fussy cut all of these flowers. So I don't have anything for Bloom Street, but, and then I added this flare that I got. So, um, I've just been, I've just been having some fun and I will keep these kits together. Um, and who knows, I might do like a one month thing where I'm making a whole bunch of pages from here uh, and using this stuff up. This is her new collection, Bungalow Lane. So I have the um, 40, you know, the 48 sheets. I kind of already started going through these. And like this one right here is a cut apart. I have a cut apart. I kind of pulled all the cut aparts out. Um, or things that I would want to fussy cut because I put them in the front. And then Wonders, I have, you know, the project pad and then a couple sheets. So like this right here, I would probably finish cutting that up. I have this one, which, um, I could use that for cutting up. I also have another one from this collection, which is this one. So I definitely would add this in here. And then I have like this, this looks like a quilt. So I could cut that up and play with that. There's more cut aparts just, and then these are like the single sheets. So I just started putting everything together. I probably would cut this up. Where is it at? Oh, I have two of those. Good. Definitely gonna finish fussy cutting those those um, butterflies out because they're super cute. Uh, so many cute things. So uh, that is that collection. And then I also have, I forgot about this one. I have this pick me up um, and I don't know what year this is. 2017, so it's by Paige Evans and it is super cute. And so I went ahead and I flipped through it. I probably would fussy cut one of these. If there's two of them, I would definitely fussy cut that. So let me see, it might be in the front or it might be just one of each. Here is that. Maybe there's two. No, maybe not. But like this, I could fussy cut that up. These, I could definitely fussy cut. I have these, I could fussy cut these up and make like strips. And then these, I, like this isn't my favorite, but I like this one too. So I went ahead and like I said, put all the, the fun stuff up front, um, except for these. I didn't do that yet just because I haven't gotten a chance, but I'm super excited. Um, I'm just right now just kind of playing with these um so like I said I don't know if I'm going to do this as a monthly thing or try to use it all up I don't think I would use this all up I think it's just going to be basically um kind of how I'm going to be housing my um my papers that are by collect you know designers because I am getting so much paper. So I am 
um, really trying to, you know, put everything in one space where I can find it all. Um, because I did have it all separated and I wasn't using, like I haven't even used Go the Scenic Route, but it would be fun to touch base with one of these every single month and just kind of use up my stuff, keep it all together. I'm going to probably have to get some of those white bins so then that way I can keep them all in there. But I think it would be a lot of fun to just pull out every once in a while and just be like, if I just want to fussy cut something, I have an idea of what I want to fussy cut. So that is my plan. Um, and I hope to start working on these soon. Um, I'm actually going to be making like little cut apart baggies um, for these. And so I already have like some here. And um, what I plan on doing is just kind of uh, putting them all in here and then um, keeping them separate per collection just in case because you never know, I might want to separate everything. Um, but that is my plan. So like all these will go in for uh, Bloom Street and I will keep all those together. And um, I might keep this in there too, just so it's in there. And then like these will all stay in their little packets until I start getting lower and lower and then probably put them into little baggies. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit different, but I wanted to show you guys my um, Paige Evans. And so I will be going into... Um, I have Maggie Holmes, I have Amy Tangerine, I have Chanel, um, and Jen Hatfield. Didn't realize I have a lot of Jen Hatfield. Uh, and I might have one for Heidi Swap and Damask Love um, because I but I, those might be a little bit smaller um, just because I don't have a whole lot of their products. Uh, but I can always add to them. And I have been getting a lot of new things from new designers. And I really, really want to try to reorganize and revamp uh, my space. And this probably is going to be the best bet for right now. Um, and yeah, that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.